Hi guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great week. If you're new here, um, I'm Paula. I hope you like my video and consider subscribing. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a much promised review of John Kellerton. I've said for a while I was going to do this and I've kind of fit, just finished up using up the products. I've been using them for about 10 weeks. So it's like a two and a half to almost three month review of using Drunk Health. Now, I'm not, I don't have any skincare. I've got no foundation. I've got no concealer or anything on it. And I do think this brand has made a difference to my skin, definitely. Um, now, if you don't know what Drunk Health is, Drunk Health is quite a luxe brand, skincare brand. It's on the high end of the market price wise. Um, people talk about it a lot. They're very famous for their ethos of being very, very much to sort of holistic skincare products that don't have any nasties in it. Now, the, the founder is Tiffany Math, uh, Masterson. I'm sure it's been around for about mm, eight to ten years, maybe. And the, 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 she uses a lot of things like marula oil in her products and that's why it's called Drunk Elephant because everyone's like, why is it always called Drunk Elephant? I even got my mum a, a box of Drunk Elephant products for Christmas and she's like, Drunk Elephant, what, what is this? I thought she thought it was like a, a cocktail set or something. So basically, the, the concept is the marula oil, the, 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 they get, they use a lot in their products. Marula oil, the, from the marula tree, the elephants will eat the fruits and when it's fermenting in their stomach, it'll make them a bit drunk. That's that's the kind of myth. Okay, but anyway, Tiffany Masterson, she said that when she was younger, she had a lot of skin problems, you know, oily combination, sensitive, as she puts all sensitive in the, in the, um, the finger inverted commas. And she said that she thinks that a lot of it was caused by the type of product she was using. Like she said that, you know, she, she so what they do is she, the philosophy is they only use ingredients that directly benefit the health of the skin. You know, maintain healthy pH levels, um, formulations the skin recognises, um, small molecule structure that the skin easy, easily absorbs so it's not going to clog your pores and effective um, active ingredients. Now, what she doesn't like is something she's named the Suspicious Six. So, you know, the Suspicious Six is quite famous for the in the Drunk Elephant. She's, I think it's even Suspicious Six TM. I think they've even kind of trademarked it. Um, and it, the six things are no essential oils, no drying alcohols, no silicones, no chemical sun sunscreens, no fragrances or dyes, and no SVS. Now the SVS, I keep, I keep forgetting what it actually stands for, but it's basically um, like the like detergent type stuff that you'd get maybe in cleansing products, um, deodorants, that kind of thing. So um, she decided to take all these things out and just have as natural products as possible, as organic, as you, but you know, I don't think all the products are vegan. I can't quite. I'm not quite sure about that. But I think she says she'll you you know uses what's best for the skin, what's absorbed best, what the skin tolerates best. Now, um, and basically, the, their their kind of philosophy is if there's any doubt, it's out. So that's what she says. If there's any doubt, and they believe they're all, and she believes all these suspicious six are the root of skin prod problems. Uh, and she says if you remove them, the skin can return to its natural levels. Okay, so that's basically the philosophy. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at the different products. Now I tried that. Okay, I'm not going to review every single product in their range, obviously because there's a lot. But what I've done is I've reviewed quite a lot. I've, I've actually managed to review a great chunk of them actually. Okay, so I'm going to start with cleansers. Now the cleanser that I use two cleansers. So I tried this one here, which is the probably one that's the most famous, and this is the best uh, best number nine jelly cleanser, and it says purify and dissolve, and it's got cantaloupe and glycerine in it there. Now what this set this will set you back. This is quite a big amount. It's 150 mils, and this is um, 20. Uh, this is 27 pounds for for this. And what it says here is the philosophy is it, it is is mild cleansing it comes out in a kind of liquidy gel it's, it says jelly cleanser but it's not really jelly it's like more of a liquidy like a clear liquidy formulation and um, it's got virgin marula oil in it glycerine and it's the idea is to replenish and hydrate your levels natural ph levels of your skin the, it's got cantaloupe fruit extract which soothes and hydrates and in coconut as well to soothe and it's a mild cleansing blend now this is £27. Now, what I'll, what 
as I'm going through this, I should have said, what I'll say is what I think's worth purchasing, what I think's worth your money, and what I would maybe not buy. Now, obviously this is individual. This is my my experience with this. Your experience might be completely different. Um, you know, there'll be a lot of people on here that'll go, actually, I love that product, or I didn't like that product. But then this is individual. But this is really just my own opinion. So I wouldn't say this is worth it. Okay, I, I do like, um, you know, butter cleansers. I do like, you know, cleansing balms. I do feel like a cleanser it feels like it's actually doing something. This, I felt, is a bit like a sort of kind of foaming cleanser that you could buy for much cheaper. I think, yes, it was good. It was okay. Uh, it, you know, can remove makeup. It's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's a cleanser. It feels like it, your, your skin was nice and fresh afterwards would I say it was worth 27 pounds no there's so many more cleansers that I've used out there at such a less price point that I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase the cleanser again so the next one I got I tried the other cleanser now this is a uh, the Slay Butter Makeup Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser and it says Kiwi Strawberry Sea Blend now I only had 22 grams of this but it lasted a long time it lasted in fact, I never thought it was going to end up being finished. <laughs> it comes with this little um, bamboo exfoliant as well. Now, you, obviously, if you buy the bigger one, which is 110 grams, you're obviously going to get a bigger one of these as well. So this comes in at £29 for the bigger one. That's 110 grams. And it says here, it melts all traces of dirt and makeup. It's gentle enough to be used around your eyes. It's got marula seed oil in it. It... it preserves the skin quality and nourishes um, and what it's clean antioxidant food extracts we've got blueberry kiwi strawberry and it comforts and moisturizes the skin and obviously what you can do is you it's just like a butter cleanser um, and you can just have it normal or if you want a bit more of an exfoliant this comes in a, like a little bamboo it's like just a little grit and you can rub it and mix it in and you can use it as an exfoliant as well now my opinions of this as well it was a good it was a good cleanser and it was very good at removing makeup it was kind of gentle enough but did feel like it was it was doing something and left your skin really smooth the thing that i can get past and this is the reason why i prob i wouldn't repurchase this again there is better cleansing balms out there even under the 30 pound point also the main thing is i couldn't get over was i didn't like the smell now I know it says it doesn't have fragrance and the fact it doesn't have fragrance made it smell really paraffiny like it's natural fragrance I just couldn't get over I'm a bit funny with fragrance and smells if it's something I really don't like the smell of even if the product's really good I doubt I'd repurchase it I it's just me and I know it was kind of you know it, it was it was a quite a good product but it was a smell that put me off so you might like it you might find the fact that if you if you're uh if you're you somebody that a, a lady that likes or a man that likes um cleansers that are just natural and they don't have any fragrance and fragrance affects you badly like gives you migraines and things this might be the one for you because like i say it doesn't have any artificial fragrance in it i just didn't like the paraffin sort of smell the natural smell of it Okay, so that's the two cleansers. Obviously, they do soap bar cleansers as well. I didn't try that. I'm not a massive fan of soap bar cleansers, so I didn't purchase the soap bar cleansers at all. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go on to is I'm going to go on to one of the key products, which I'm still actually using. It's, it's, it, it lasts ages because you just need a tiny, tiny little bit of it. And this is the A Passione Retinol Cream. Now, retinol is really good at just resurfacing your skin, um, giving it a reboot, smoothing out wrinkles and fine lines and it is like a sort of product that's come on the market recently as being a kind of hero product, a product that is, you know, people talk about and, and they, they say is amazing. Now this is this is 1% retinol, retinol is very expensive and it says for 30ml, this this one I've got here uh, is a 10ml and these are quite good because they do sell these little packs on the Drunk Elephant website or in Space NK or I think Cult Beauty is now doing um, Drunk Elephant so if you do want to buy Drunk Elephant Space NK for example is a great place to go because you can get like indulge points so if you're spending quite a lot of money on these products you might as well get some of your money back by getting your indulge points so the 30ml it says the powerhouse of a retinol it calls it 
and it teaches skin cells to act younger they say and that's that's a claim one percent pure ve vegan retinol um, has other nutri nutritious superfood extracts in it like passion fruit apricot kale winter cherry and the claim is it dramatically diminishes the appearance of fine lines deep wrinkles and sun damage um, also it's got like peptides and fatty acids to plump the skin to make it look younger and it says that you can you know mix it with some of the other serums they have or the moisturizers if you find that you don't want it to be too strong because retinol if you're not used to retinol and in particular if you've got sensitive skin retinol can be a bit harsh so what they say is maybe you try it maybe once a week to start with then work your way up to maybe once every three days two days and then if you really tolerate it well you can use it every day now i actually because i do sometimes get cold sores in the sun um I do just I do just use it kind of once a week at the moment and I just need a tiny bit maybe I will build it up in that but I do think it does it does make your skin very smooth and it does make your skin feel rejuvenated I do, I do think okay um I mean I do think retinol's a product that's going to be you know getting much much bigger um as the years go by because it is as I say it is like a hero product and I do think it does make a difference. The only thing I would say about that, it does come out bright yellow. Uh, I wonder if I can show you a little bit. So that's the colour of it. So you really have to, let's see, you really have to kind of blend it in um, and a little bit goes a long way. So <laughs> blend it in. And like I say, another thing they, they suggested, like I say, is mixing it in with your moisturiser or your serum if you don't want it to be too strong. And that's kind of what I do usually. Okay, so, um, and also it says as well, if you use it, you be careful with using sun protection afterwards because your skin, your skin can be really sensitive because it's stripped a bit of the layers off, really. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at here is moisturisers. Now, they've got two main ones. They've got like a kind of, what? well, they've got two main moisturisers. And the first moisturiser I'm going to look at is the Protini Polypeptide Cream. Now, this is really, really good. I would definitely repurchase this this is really good now like i say this lasted for a long time these products seem to last for ages even the smaller versions that i've got now i just had like a tub but um if you buy the full size of these they come in like a bigger tub and it's got like this like kind of push down thing it's like a hole in the top and you, you open it and a hole in the top and you just push it down and it pumps out just enough portion of moisturizer to use for for one application which I think is good because it does preserve the longevity of the cream because this does last a long time even this lasts weeks and weeks and weeks so it does preserve longevity of the cream um so this was so the, this is just a small one but this is a 30 mil but for the 50 mil you're looking at 57 pounds so actually I got quite a lot so for 30 I can't even remember I got it in like a pack but um for for 20 more mils you're paying 57 pounds and it says here it's got a me it basically it's immediate and visible improvement in the appearance of the skin so the skin's tone texture and firmness and i would advocate that i would say it does i would say i had really good results with this i tend to suffer my kind of complaints with my skin are number one i can sometimes suffer from grayish skin if i'm tired like i i i, I it's very oh if i'm tired or or i get you know not feeling so great or whatever i get it really looks looks on my skin like dullish complexion and i think it brightens up complexion smooth i can sometimes get a bit of an even skin tone it smoothed that out it was great and i'm 42 going on 43 in september and i do think you know obviously i'm lucky that at the moment i don't have too many fine lines but obviously there's areas that i don't like i don't like the marionette lines here and i do think it's plumped things up there a little bit so um i don't know if there's much you can do about marionette lines apart from a facelift i think so i don't, I don't know anyway um and it says here it's got amino acids which plump firm and restore bounce of skin it's got signal peptides um pygmy water lily extracts and these are all antioxidants for the skin to really draw out impurities and they've got a soybean folic acid which is very thirst quenching i really enjoyed using this it's a very light it feels very light when it's on it's not a big thick heavy cream it feels very light um not exactly like um sunday riley's water cream but just very very light and thin but it does pack a punch and i would definitely definitely repurchase this in the future i think it's a great cream
The next cream I used was the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I'm actually still, I've actually got two of these. I've, this, I've finished this one, I'm still using the second one. And the Lala Re Retro Whipped Cream is kind of famous for them. They're quite, um, a lot of people know about this and have used it. And what it is, it's, if you want to buy the full size of it, it's £50 and for 50 mils. And it's, it's a multifaceted rescue cream. So where this is working on kind of like the um, at the deeper level of the skin and looking at, you know, kind of rejuvenation and, and plumping out smoothing lines and, you know, texture. This is kind of a more of a protective cream. And it says replenishing barrier support by reinforcing the skin's acid um, infused with six rare African oils, for example, like your marula oil. Um, and plant ceramide complex, antioxidants, green tea helps combat signs of aging. Um, the Lala helps retain long lasting moisture, so it protects like a barrier, almost protects your moisture, keeps in the, the, the moisture in your skin. And it feels look of luxurious, it feels like luxurious face cream. And I would actually say that it definitely does that because what it does, it feels like almost like kind of like the, the creams of old. It's quite a thick cream, so it does feel like if you don't like a thick cream, you probably won't like this one. Uh, it is a lot more, you, you'll need a little bit, but it does feel like a luxurious uh, layer of cream that you're putting on your face. So I tend to use this at night. I tend, that's why I've tended to use it's like a night cream. And it says, I feel it, and it's, and like I say, it brightens. And I'm just looking at some of the um, rare African oils, obviously Marula, Mongongo, and Beobe. And, it, and that all helps with your, your moisturisation. What they do actually recommend is you can use both of these together. Um, they say you can like double it up. So you've got like the working deep at the level of the skin and then you've got the protective layer. So they do recommend on the, on the Drunk Elephant website to do that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at is a mask. And you can use this at night, and again, you can use this with the serums, you can use it with a lot of these creams and serums you can use together. So, you know, not using one or the other, you can double up for, for more impact. And this is the, this is one of the newer products out here, I think it was just out last year, and this is the FBAM Electrolyte Water Facial Mask. And this is what it looks like, this is the full size of it, and it is, for that, is £44, and that gives you 50 ml and you just pump it out like that. And it says here, it's cooling, quenching, overnight mask with an electrolyte cocktail, strengthens the skin's acid mantle, it rehydrates hungover parched skin, making soft and supple. It's got tiny little beads, and it's like a thin layer, but then it's got little beads that sort of, when you rub it in, it kind of, they burst and infuse into the skin. So that's like the vitamins, that's the vitamins, um, the vitamin F thing that says they are vitamin, vitamin, vitamin F microbeads. So when you rub that in, they, they kind of burst into the skin and it replenishes your skin's natural bi barrier. And it's, it is really nice. I mean, would I say it's a wonder facial? I've used others that I prefer, which are cheaper. Um, I think the, like Origins facial and thing, um, masks and things like that. Um, it was nice, it's nice, it's nice thin, it's not overpowering when you put it on, it's not one of these kind of overnight masks that are like splattered on your face and they take ages to absorb it, it absorbs really quickly so if you like that and obviously you don't want it on your pillow and everything when you go to your bed, this is quite a good one and it does leave your skin feeling nice and fresh and rejuvenated in the next morning. Um, are there other products out there that do the same thing? Yes, are there other products that are cheaper? Yes, frankly. Um, okay, so the next thing I, I'm going to look at is two serums, the two serums. Now, this serum here, which is the C Firma Day Serum, and this this is only a small one, 5 mil. Um, and this was 60, normal, if you buy a 30 mil, it's 67 pounds. And it's super potent, and it's got packed with vitamin C in it. It's got, it helps with firmness, plumping. It's got powerful antioxidants in it, and it's got... It's got a reservoir effect, it stays active in the skin for 72 hours, they say, um, and it cannot be rubbed or washed off. So if you put it on your skin, they go swimming or something, it's not going to like lose its effect. And it's got things like pumpkin ferment and pomegranate extract again, which just helps with firmness and plumping. And it's really good. It is really good. Um, 
obviously I didn't probably get because I've only got a small one of this you know I probably didn't get the overall you know long term effects of it building up but I did like it it was a good serum um there are serums that I've tried that are better usually a bit more expensive though but this one is actually a really really good serum um I would I would think of repurchasing this again it's not my favourite serum I've ever tried, but it is quite good. Now, the one I really liked, the one I absolutely loved, and I've gone through, I'm trying to find the other one, I've dropped it on the floor. I'm on to my fourth mini one of these. Um, I think it is the TLC Frambuz Glycolic Night Serum with AHA, BHA Blend Raspberry Extract. This is amazing i've dropped my other one on the floor and i've got one that i'm using at the moment it is so so good um i really need to bite the bullet and actually um pay the 76 pound and get a full size one because i've been i've had i think i had one in a, a christmas box and i bought two um i got one in another small box and i got and i bought two of the kind of there was if you go in Space NK, you can get this and this for like £20. I think I bought two of those. So, yeah, it is amazing. And what it is, is for 30 mils you can get it for £76. It's refined, reduces surface of skin, smooths. It gives you a more radiant complexion. And because my biggest concern really is this kind of like dull kind of skin, um, it almost like exfoliates it a bit. It, it gently lifts away dead skin. It resurfaces dull skin cells. It, it resurfaces dull skin, resurfaces it, clarifies, smooths, gives you more even complexion. It's got things like tartaric, I think, and lactic acid, citric acid, exfoliates, resurfaces, unclogs pores. It's got raspberry fruit extract, which rehydrates soothes cactus extract as well which soothes so as well as exfoliating it and clogging it's actually soothing as well it's got other things in there to combat the harsher effects of it this is so good this actually if if your skin concerns are similar as mine and you want a little bit more even skin tone you want um brighter skin this is such a good serum this is really good Okay, the other thing I got, now, I got the Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defence SPF 30. This is the one with the tint. This is the Umbra Tint Physical De Daily Defence. I'm still using it. It's got loads in it. This is a full size. And this is, for 60ml, this is £36. And it's got UVA and UVB protection in it. It's got potent antioxidant, um, universal flattering, um, no greasiness or white residue. Now... I've heard the other one, so you can get this one and you can get the one without the tint. And I've heard the other one without the tint can give you a little bit of white residue, I've heard some people say. But this one's really good, because this is it, I'll put a little bit in my hand. You don't, oh gosh, I put a bit too much in my hand there. But this is what it comes out like, and you really have to rub it in, actually, to be honest. But it gives you, gives you a, bit of a bit of a glow and protect, and again, it doesn't really smell very much and this is it does just gives your skin a bit of a glow and gives you some protection from the sun spf 30. now i actually really liked it again like you know um you do have to rub it in and you, you can't be too heavy handed with it you've got to put just a little bit on um again i i do agree it doesn't give you any greasiness no white tint i think if you put a bit too much on it can look a little bit odd if you've got very very pale skin like me but i do see how it could work on quite a lot of skin tones there um, yeah, and that's probably going to last me a long time because <laughs> I would just use this on my face. I wouldn't put it on my body. But the last thing is I've got... Now, Drunk Elephants has just re released a bunch of sort of hair products and skincare products as well, like skin creams, lotions and hair care. They've got shampoo, they've got conditioner, they've got like a, a scalp scrub. Now, the only one I really wanted to try out, to be honest with you, because they're so damn expensive was the wild marula tangle spray now i heard this was really good um and this this stuff is amazing it is so damn expensive though so it's really annoying because i'm like oh, i really want to buy more of this i do have one that i'm using at the moment because i was when i was trying to get the space nk gift free gift i needed to make you know add 20 more pounds to my my um carts and i thought i'm gonna have another one of these so it's 21 pounds it's nourishing plant oils, 
it's got it's a weightless super fine mess it's really great at detangling my hair normally is a lot of of detangler to detangle it. it gets really 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 naughty this you don't need that much so even though I'm spending £21 on it I'm not using that much at every application of it and it's got marula and actually the marula oil smells amazing it smells like almond oil or something in it it's beautiful and that's just the natural oil, natural oil so because obviously they don't add fragrance it's got sacha inchy seed oregon oil and it strengthens protects it penetrates the hair shaft which is great for curly hair because it makes it a bit more shiny and nourishing plant oils so that's my review um, obviously there are a few other items that you, if you want uh, to go on the Drunk we um, Elephant website they do have some other things on there too um, I think they do have like an eye cream and things like that that's what I tried out and yes it is an expensive skincare brand okay so my top things that I got okay you won't be won't be too much of a guess that's my number one definitely would you purchase this my number two would be the um, polypeptide cream these are my probably my two and this the hair product that was my three favorite things by the drunk elephant brand and yes I quite like the the retinol cream too things that I wouldn't repurchase I wouldn't purchase the, any of the cleansers I don't think the cleansers or for me I think I can get a nicer cleanser for cheaper or if I wanted a really nice really nice cleanser I would purchase something else um, the other thing is I probably wouldn't bother repurchasing this either this is kind of in the middle because I'm like well you know it was good but you know for as much money as I paid for it 44 pounds was it that good and I, it was it was good but it wasn't like mind-blowing for me anyway I know some people have had different results and um, also the other things I would potentially consider getting again would be the the sea firmer cream um, and potentially the Lala with Lala cream but definitely these are these are these are the ones that I like really liked were these three here that's definitely worth it if you're not going to get anything else by drunk elephant I would go for this it's so good and this one here anyway thanks very much for watching my next trial is going to be of Sunday Riley so it's going to be interesting to see um, how Sunday Riley adds you know compares with the, with this the with drunk elephant they're both the kind of you know powerhouses of the skincare world in terms of price point and claims so it'll be very interesting to see how they um match up anyway if you've made it to the end of my video thank you very much for watching if you like this content and you like unboxings and other things please please subscribe thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye